Welcome to another Mad Hatter review. First Mad Hatter review of the year 2024, January 2024. No, not January, sorry. Uh, we're not calling it January. Uncle Todd has relabeled, renamed this month. Everybody, Todd McFarland here. January, which we're calling Sponuary. There you go. This is Sponuary, okay? I don't know why he wouldn't go for like September. It's got an S and a P there. You can call it like Spontember or something. But Uncle Todd knows best. So, uh, first review of the year 2024 very excited because this one is super nostalgic okay i even have a little prop here do you remember this kids do you remember this little thing from your childhood i know that i do what about this right here uh, have you spent hours and hours playing this okay have you wasted tons of your childhood playing this i could have been a doctor for the amount of time that i spent playing this thing okay but if you did you might recognize this name right here banjo kazooie yes that's right this is a banjo kazooie figure from Premium DNA, okay? If you know or if you don't know, this guy right here, this is Banjo and this is Kazooie and together they form the team of Banjo-Kazooie. This was a, uh, a video game that came out. This was a rare video game, not, it wasn't, the video game wasn't rare. It was from the company Rare. Uh, they made GoldenEye, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Battletoads, all this other stuff and Premium DNA has the rights to make it. And when I saw this, I was like, I must have this, okay, because I went through the Nintendo 64 game, and, uh, you know, I'm a big Smash Brothers fan, and at some point, I'd like to have a full Smash Brothers setup, so this guy is going to go into that team. This is definitely something I was interested in, definitely in my wheelhouse, and uh, look at, first of all, the size of this box is gigantic, okay? On the back right here, they have this puzzle piece. Uh, if you remember, you had to uh, collect, like, puzzle pieces in that game. It was like a platformer, okay? And uh, let's go ahead and slide this sucker open right now. I know there's a ton of glare, but check out all the Banjo-Kazooie goodness right here. He's got his banjo. Uh, banjo the bear, Kazooie the bird. On the back right here, there you go. You get him, and he comes with all the stuff that he comes with, alternate head. And by the way, there is a flocked version of this guy, too. And, uh, yeah, you can get him on the premium DNA store. I am very excited to open this guy up, okay? Super nostalgic. This is, this is the kind of nostalgia I love, okay? I almost want to unbox the nostalgia, okay? New channel name. I made that joke already a million times. But, anyway, starting strong, 2024 Spawnuary. Uh, let's get to the review. I'll see you there. All right, and we are back. This is like this is this is like hitting me right in the feels. I <laughs> I know I say that a lot. I guess I say that a lot because I tend to buy stuff that hits me right in the feels. But this banjo kazooie just takes me back, man. Nintendo sixty four, just playing with my buddies, and well, I don't know. You didn't really play this with your buddies. It's a single player campaign, but. This guy, this the image of Banjo-Kazooie just takes me back. Now, I had to pull back as far as I could because this is a big dude, okay? Uh, uh, just a big bear. He is uh, 8 inches. I measured him 8 inches tall with Kazooie up there. Uh, totals about like a little more than 10 inches. And then it's like a 10 to 11 inch uh, wingspan right there if you want this whole thing. So, he's big. He's a big boy. Now... Uh, there's a, a few school, schools of thought on uh, Banjo-Kazooie. I always imagined him as like a big character. In Smash Brothers, he's presented as like smaller than Donkey Kong. But then I, I remember for some reason, and again, this, is, this might be like a Mandela effect thing. I just remember images of Banjo and Donkey Kong together and they were the same size. So I don't know what's appropriate. I don't know what's going on. Look, he's still going in the Smash Brothers setup that I'm thinking about. But let's just talk about him. The sculpt is amazing. So Premium DNA, by the way, they're the ones that uh, made those Battletoads figures. And I'm going to do like a whole line reveal on that. I'm going to show you guys that because I think that that is one of the best under the radar lines uh, of this year. And you'll, you'll see, you'll be the judge of it. But um, this guy is, is no different. They're sculpting is on point, okay? Everything that is Banjo-Kazooie is represented here, okay? So uh, I'll show you the alternate head, but you got this head right here uh, with the teeth and uh, the eyes are really nicely painted. The blue has like two tones and the fur is done really, really well. It's got like a nice wash in there. There's a nice sculpt in the fur. And um, in terms of just the parts that are not fur, like this piece right here, very nice, like, two-tone painting. I love that. There's a two-tone painting on the hands. You can see it right here. And uh, pants have a nice uh, uh, paint on them, too, with the uh, hint of gloss there and the stitching and the belt. And it's, it's just a beautiful figure. 
It's almost, dare I say, statuesque. Wondering if the best way to uh, show uh, Kazooie is maybe to take, uh, is, it, is it a him or a her? I always forget, because I remember in the Nintendo 64, they didn't have any voices. They just went bah, 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 and so you just have to guess. But uh, I'm gonna say it's a her because you got the, looks like lipstick and then the, uh, the uh, eyelashes there. Kazooie pops out and don't worry, she does have a bottom half and I'll show you that in a second, but look at the paint on her. Really, really nice. I love the um, yellow spread out in the feathers. The sculpt is really nice all throughout. Is that the uh, horn thing that uh, uh, that she's got in the middle of her beak? And I don't think I think that that's permanently in there. I don't know why you would want to take it out, but uh, yeah. And then the little mohawk here, and again, just how the red and the yellow go together. Very, very nicely done uh, in terms of articulation. Since I got it right here, pretty simple articulation for her right here. Okay, you got. Uh, just these wings on a ball joint and then you got uh pretty much just the ball joint on the head but i really think that that's probably all you need and she just pops right out of the backpack in terms of banjo's articulation let's take a look so you have the head this goes up about that much the head then goes down so you're looking at a range of that much okay not too much on the head right here by the way you do have this uh, necklace that uh that hangs is sort of like shark tooth necklace right there shoulders go up about that much right there this is how much elbow that you're getting and then you get the spin right here and then you get a uh, hinge on the wrist does have a very nice uh chest swivel slash crunch okay it's almost like it's like a double jointed uh, uh crunch in there which i like it's actually really nicely done you can uh you can hunch him over a lot and uh you can move him back a lot too if you want him to just kind of uh be coming at you that way not a lot of thigh spread he goes really about that much okay he's he's a chunky a chunky boy so uh you know it's it's to be expected but yeah and move him out this much and then you have the knee that goes about that much, pretty much like a 90 degree, and then the hinge, and then you get a nice rock right there. Backpack does come out, okay, as you can see, uh, it has these little slots where this fits in, and then it's got a peg, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a peg, and there's a hole in the back, and you can just peg it in right there, and then put, uh, put these straps into the slot. We'll say that when you have the backpack in there, I wish that it sat more flush on his shoulders. It's not a huge deal, but uh, yeah, it is something I noticed that it's not, you can't tighten the strap uh, uh, to, to just conform completely to the shoulder. Speaking of backpack, the backpack is really nice. It's got this nice stitching in there. It's got this piece. And uh, if you want to just have him with the backpack, have Kazooie by yourself, you can put this piece on there, okay? It's a little accessory piece. And then there you go, you get a backpack sans Kazooie, okay? I don't know why you would want that, okay? I feel like these guys go together. It's like, you know, lamb and tuna fish, uh, chocolate and peanut butter, but uh, yeah, uh, you, you have the option. By the way, I don't eat lamb and tuna fish. All right, in terms of what he comes with, so I showed you guys the uh, uh, lid on the uh, backpack. Comes with this puzzle piece right there, and uh, I'd mentioned that before, you have to collect these as part of the game. This is kind of like a nice display item. It's uh, has like a bit of a metallic sheen. You put it next to him and uh, yeah, it looks all good. You get the bottom half of, uh, of Kazooie right there and uh, he has uh, some ball joint uh, action right there. And um, does he have, oh yeah, and he has like a swivel too uh, where the uh, the fur meets this, uh, this yellow part. So uh, you can do some stuff with him. Again, I'm probably not gonna use this, but if you want to, great. Are his uh, two uh, hands that he comes with. So he has the grabby hands right here and then he has these hands, uh, these hands or this hand or whichever hand is great for banjo playing so i'm gonna do that and speaking of banjo boom you can't have the banjo without a banjo okay so uh you got this really nice nicely sculpted banjo it's got uh some nice like metallic on there and the silver and it's all big and it's got the gold up there it's a nice solid banjo you get an alternate head right here okay pretty similar to this head except uh, this one's got the teeth and this one is just just a nice wholesome smile by the way i didn't mention but i love the little what is that, like freckle spots in there, okay? And I, I also love the puffed of hair. This is great. This is, they, they nailed it, okay? This is completely on model. The nose, everything about this is so cartoony. It's so vivid. And there you go, just so I'm not lazy. Here's uh, what he looks like uh, all put together, okay? Uh, be uh, warned that he does get a little top heavy uh, because he's kind of like at an angle here. So if you don't uh, situate him right, uh, he might want to just tip over like that. So just kind of like uh, be aware of that. But yeah, if you like your Kazooie's all whole, there you go. All right, check it out. Here's my uh, humble little uh, Smash Brothers display starting right here. <laughs> you got the, the Nintendo, uh, or sorry, the Mario movie, uh, Bowser Mario movie Mario. 
You got the Jada Toys uh, Mega Man and the Ryu. And there you got Banjo-Kazooie right there fitting in. Okay. Uh, I love this. This is awesome. This is actually, when I, when I heard that they were doing this, this is the first thing I thought of is eventually I want kind of like some kind of like Ash Brothers sort of uh, representation slash shrine. Um, I'd be curious to see what he looks like next to the world of Nintendo Bowser and the Donkey Kong. I have them somewhere. I don't know where they are. And uh, I have a link somewhere, and I don't know where he is, so this is what I got. But uh, I love this. Look how fun this is. This is my childhood right here, okay? This is in terms of video. I know a lot of times I show stuff, and I'm like, this is my childhood. But this was, this was my uh, Nintendo childhood. Put it that way, okay? I, I, I just defined it a little more. So, uh, yeah, there we go. There you got Mr. Banjo playing the banjo right there. And uh, that's it. That is the review of Banjo-Kazooie. This guy is going to be $65 premium DNA. It's uh, a boutique company, and, uh, you know, that tends to be a little more expensive, but uh, he's worth it, man. If you want this figure, which I can't imagine anybody else doing him as good as uh, doing him, do <laughs> making him as good as this figure, uh, that's just how it is, you know what I mean? The Battletoads, same deal. But uh, uh, they're, they're, they're doing a great job with these, uh, with these rare properties. And uh, I hope they do more. I, I want uh, Conker's. Conker's Bad Fur Day. I want him on the shelf. I know he's not a Smash Brothers character. But I love this Banjo-Kazooie, okay? And again, how many shots do you get at a character like this? So, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, Premium DNA Toys uh, is the company. Uh, they do Battletoads as well. They're doing the Earthworm Gym and... Um, very, I, I, their style is is become very clear. It's like big, vivid type characters. Okay, um, the issues with this guy definitely not the sculpt and the paint. It's more in the articulation, sort of like limited with articulation. Um, also, because he's a big guy. Okay, although that chest swivel is really, really good. The thing to keep in mind is uh, that backpack. You're gonna have to like finagle it a little bit. And he's top heavy. Okay, he's top heavy, and he's got a bird that wants to drag him down. So you have to. You know, play a little bit of a, a physics game trying to get him to stand. But uh, once he does, he is glorious. Uh, I love this character. I think he's going to look great in my my future Smash Brothers setup. And uh, yeah, if you want him, I'll put a link in the description. Banjo-Kazooie playing as Banjo. Uh, a new challenger in 2024? Uh, I think so, okay? Uh, we'll see where he ranks in uh, this, uh, uh, I was going to say January. Remember, it's not January. It's 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 Spawnuary. And uh, yeah, first review in the bag. Comment, subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.